द फाइनल ऑफ द आई सी सी वुमेन्स टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विल टेक प्लेस बिटवीन द माइटी ऑसिस एंड द होस्ट साउथ अफ्रीका इवन बिफोर द स्टार्ट ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट एवरी वन न्यू दट ऑस्ट्रेलिया विल मेक इट द फाइनल बट द क्वेश्चन वॉज हु विल बी द सेकंड टीम इन दिस प्रीव्यू वीडियो ऑन एस फोर एसवी लेट्स टेक अ क्विक पीक एट बोथ द फाइनलिस्ट ऑफ दिस आई सी सी टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप इफ यू लुक एट बोथ द फाइनलिस्ट Five time champions Australia have made it to the seventh consecutive T20 World Cup final and they have lost only once in the final in 2016 to West Indies. On the other hand, if we look at South Africa, South Africa have made it to the first ever major tournament final, men's or women's. So the teams are slightly mismatched on paper and form. South Africa, some may say, are lucky to be in the final because they just garnered two wins in the group stages just like New Zealand and Sri Lanka. But it's never about luck. They showed up where it mattered the most. Also the presence of South Africa in the final will make the final interesting for Australia because most of the crowds will be backing only one team. Australia have lost only one match in the last 22 outings and that too via super over. So you can see that beating Australia in recent time itself is a major task. Meg Lanning has been a superstar skipper who's been leading her team to major finals and trophies and we're hoping to add one more piece of silverware in that already stuffed cabinet. Since the first edition in 2009 the hosts have made it to the final only twice but have won both of them so this is a positive sign that uh, the proteas can take with them after the semi final win south african captain stated that they have the best bowling attack in women's t20 but i guess she's slightly wrong they have the best openers in women's t20 just look at the first wicket partnership apart from the first two games they have given the openers have given match winning starts to the team their openers together have scored 345 runs in five matches That also means the runs from the other batters are very scarce and the middle order is slightly out of batting practice. For Australia, the batting has been a collective effort with the likes of Mooney, Healy, Lanning all chipping in, but the bowling effort has been spearheaded by the duo of Shute and Gardner who have scalped 9 apiece with tidy averages. Major factor between the both the teams is fielding. Australia have been the best out there in this T20 World Cup and no team come even close to the standards. Looking at the road to the final, Australia literally swept away the opponents in every group stages, and most of the wins were like a stroll in the park. Although India will consider themselves unlucky in the semi-final as they were slightly ahead uh, in the run chase. For South Africa, the home campaign started disastrously by losing to Sri Lanka in a low run chase, but then two huge wins against New Zealand and Bangladesh gave the Proteas a run rate boost by virtue of which they qualified for the semis. In the semis, England were in control of the chase. There was a three-wicket over by Khaka, which choked the English. South Africa are the underdogs over here, but history awaits the host if they can manage a huge upset and win the T20 trophy at Newlands on Sunday. In few hours, we will come to know if Australia will extend the magnificent T20 record, or will South Africa edge their name into the history books. Till then, let's all be sports savvy.